A controversial Nobel Prize winning scientist is responsible for helping millions of people with his discoveries and is considered the father of nitrogen. He is also responsible for killing tens of thousands of people and is also considered to be the father of chemical warfare. His name was Fritz Haber. He was born in 1868 to a well-off German and Jewish family in the Kingdom of Prussia, now known as Wrocław, Poland. Haber's education guided him towards an early fascination with chemistry, and he would graduate from the University of Berlin, work for his father's chemical businesses, and earn a PhD. After several arguments, Fritz Haber would leave his father's business and would go off on his own, work extensively with thermodynamics and electrochemistry, write several books, and eventually win a Nobel Prize in 1918. He created the Haber-Bosch process, combining nitrogen and hydrogen to produce ammonia, mainly used in fertilizers. His discoveries would be used to create huge agricultural crops which in the future would eventually support half the world's population. Haber embraced the German side of his roots and would become promoted by Kaiser Wilhelm to the rank of captain during World War I. When his chlorine and mustard gas creations were used against the Allies in the trenches in 1915, he saw the effects on the human body personally. That year, his pacifist wife Clara would commit suicide with his gun following an argument, possibly after realizing that her husband's creation killed 67,000 people during the Second Battle of Ypres. Fritz's son Hermann would also commit suicide in 1946, 12 years after his father's death. After the war, he would become shunned by other members of the scientific community, including Albert Einstein. Fritz Haber's brilliant efforts that have, in essence, fed the world were largely overshadowed to his part in the war. The father of nitrogen and poison gas warfare, Fritz Haber would die of heart failure in 1934 at the age of 65 in Switzerland.